All right, next deck of the day. So last uh, last stream, I think it was, we tried playing a, a sort of Yasuo Darius mid-range deck that was using um, cards like uh, Darius's new Apprehend to rally, and then we were just kind of just looking to go big with huge cards like Darius himself, um, buffed bl Fey Blade Twirlers and Legion Generals, giving them evasive with like Fey Guides, or if we can, and then just punching through for lethal damage um using Darius's rally potentially to like steal games uh decided to take a second crack at this Yasuo deck just kind of be this one's a little bit more aggressive overall the curve's a lot lower we got actual we have actual units to play on turn one that's a big one including this inspiring mentor decided to pair it with Navori Conspirator um not only is this card this card pretty much requires for the most part enough one drops i think to justify so you can play it on turn two most of the time but when we're not playing it on turn two um it does benefit from being able to bounce things like you know, house spider in some rare instances but also arachnoid sentry and even concussive palms to put them all back into your deck and get the and basically get their their enters play abilities uh again for further benefit all the while because it is recalling units where did you go it's it's working towards leveling our Yasuo. But ideally, we want to go like Inspiring Mentor on one, Navori Conspirator on two, put the Mentor back into our hand. This is now a 3-2 Elusive. And the Inspiring Mentor can grant plus one attack to something else in hand, possibly a Zed, making him a 4-2 Quick Strike, which seems good. So Inspiring Mentor, not only like an okay one drop, but it's pretty good with our Quick Attack and Elusive units that are in the, that are in the deck. Still got the Legion Generals here at the top end because we are recalling and stunning a lot of things, so he tends to get pretty big. I tossed away the um, the what is it? Intimidating roars for these decisive maneuvers. While the intimidating roars have like a bigger impact overall, if Yasuo is on the table, when he's not, it's kind of lackluster, and we we have other ways to level Yasuo while he's in the deck um, besides. So I thought it was. A fine swap plus this just goes better with our go wide game plan overall really benefits from our evasive threats things like the house spider and zed um so giving these a shot and i think uh i think it's just a better um better kind of uh tool to help close games out also got a couple of recalls in here uh before i was trying in my in the other build i was trying things like Twin Disciplines help keep our stuff safe. I think I want to try recalls here. Might be we have too many recall-ish effects, like we're just going to lose tempo in, in a lot of cases. But this is a cheap way to protect our key threats like Zed or Yasuo, while also leveling Yasuo seems okay. So I got, thought I'd give them a shot, put them in the deck. Could could be that we just want these to be something like, honestly, even just some a couple of copies of Guile, but maybe also just more units or just something else more impactful. Um... Didn't really know what to do with those slots, so I just thought I'd throw, throw it in there. I think I'm fine with two Steel Tempests. I could see maybe Steel Tempest, a full set of Steel Tempests, and then something else over these recalls. But anyway, just kind of trying. Again, it was just trying a bunch of different combinations of cards that I haven't really got a chance to play around with too much. And we'll see how we do. Good chance, you know... Being, being a mid-range deck, you know, our, our goal is to see if we can have good matchups match against the other aggressive decks in the, in the format. Um, while hopefully having an aggressive enough game plan that we can sometimes get under the control lists. You know, now that I think about it, with that, with that goal in mind, maybe those two, two copies of Recall could be better as the... Um, oh, I think it's called Spirit's Refuge, the card that gives uh, one of your units barrier and lifesteal. Because a lot of the a lot of the aggressive, the most successful aggressive decks right now have just so much reach. There's just so much burn that it can be tough to even when you do stabilize the board, it can be tough to actually then t turn the corner and win the game because they just have so much reach in their deck. So maybe something a little bit of life gain might be where we want to be. Not sure what was happening there. The client kind of hung for a second there, but looks like we're gonna get into the game. Ah, that probably explains why. I guess our opponent kind of disconnected or something in the middle of that. 
Maybe their client froze or something. I'll try again. Oh, I didn't edit the deck command. Not that there's anybody here using it, but... Is this a mid-range deck? Is this a mid-range aggro deck? Good question. I don't really know. I'm calling it mid-range, but this... You could argue this is a mid-range aggro deck if you want to split hairs. Doesn't want to offer that as a trade. I'm surprised, to be honest. I actually think I want to just recall this now. I think there's like a small chance that they can buff this to block the thing, but they probably don't have a way to deal with this, and it's too damage either way, so... Okay, well now technically they could block, but they're probably not going to. That's kind of nice, though, us being able to block that. They probably have protection, but if they don't, it's going to be really good. Yeah, this is okay. I can inspire this precious pet. Opponent has a pretty good curve here. It's gonna be tough to beat this. Come on, Rib. Really? They're just gonna offer this up? Okay. I, I, they could have buffed this and then given this quick attack. And what, at best, I could have dealt two damage to one of their loot. I guess I am holding up mana so they're like afraid, but. That worked out better than I would have expected, to be honest. That's a Yasuo, which we're probably going to end up playing. Usually they don't... Hmm. Usually these decks like this just like to curve out. I think I can just go ahead and throw out the Yasuo in hopes of getting an attack in with him. This doesn't have a profitable attack anyway. If he plays a Shen, if sh if our opponent plays Shen, um, well, that's annoying. But it is what it is. This was our best attack anyway. Maybe I would have offered that trade, sure, but okay. Well, our opponent's probably gonna open attacks here. If they don't, we're gonna definitely spider them. It's too bad we don't have enough resources to spider a bunch of their things. Now the question is, what am I spidering? Um, it's probably this. Could it could also make sense to do that actually, just so nothing gets quick attack. But I have I have the ability to block that. But they might buff buff it this time. It's probably the thing that's getting ridiculously huge. Eh. Nah, let's buff the elusive quick attack thing. Who does not know the name Laurent? Sure. Uh, I guess I'll just buff you. Why not? I just want blockers here, I think. Too bad, it looks like we're gonna lose our Yasuo. Batter him! Harry, repost, you are toast. Let's use all the colors. Hardly fair. I would think that they would want to just trade this with the Yasuo by leveling, by pumping it up with the Lulu. Yeah, 
Okay, I think this is a bit of a mistake. This is part of the training. From our opponent here. And they're losing like a bunch of their units too. I don't think that was a very good attack step for them. I think there was definitely more they could have done. And we're definitely just gonna open attacks here. We don't want them to be able to use this profitably. We have other ways to attack and deal damage. Or to interact, I should say, with with certain blocks that they could be making. Close my eyes, make it fair. I guess I just use Ravenous Flock on that. And then it's just dead. I think this is worth doing because it dies to Yasuo now. It also makes our Legion General a bit bigger. Okay, opponent doesn't want to play anymore. I, they had, I mean, they had a level Lulu, so it's like I don't think they were just out of it. Let me update my the deck command while I'm at it, just in case. I know, I guess they only had a couple cards left in hand. Oh, actually, well, I guess just one, right? Because one of them was the, the picks. But still, they would have had two cards plus a hay picks that they could burst out. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they maybe it was over, I guess. We had we had a pretty big board. And they're kinda their decks, the way they work, they tend to um do I wanna recall with Zed in hand? It's possible. We're probably not winning game with that though. I'll keep Zed. I think I want. I, I think I'm just looking for a more aggressive start. That's not. Uh, that's not quite what I asked for. Second Zed's not bad if the first one goes down, but you'll soon understand my method. D for two. Opponent knows we we're kind of a more aggressively slanted Yasuo deck when they seeing these two champions, so. You can see the Demacian border from here. Not trading, eh? Hmm. What do we want to do? They almost certainly have um Time for a leap of faith. What you might call it? Avalanche, so I feel like I just want to I think I'm gonna spread the love here rather than make one Zed. That's really good No, maybe I am supposed to do that because like I could use the first one as a as bait kind of I think I'll just attack with the one. It's not awful, considering we have quite a number of stun effects in hand. Could, end up, could end up pretty big. Let's go with this. He still has enough 
resources to, uh... Hello there. Yeah, I think we're just swinging. It never gets any lighter. Ready the torches! Light the signal fires! Probably supposed to kill this. Sure. Keep your, uh... Keep your Dragon Caller, or whatever it's called. Herald of Dragons, sure. Hmm. I want to go, like, super wide into an avalanche, but, I mean, they're gonna lose a lot of stuff to that as well, I suppose, so... If the winter's claw strikes, they just have a lot of stuff, huh? You just have a lot of stuff. I'm gonna pass. Some things never dull. They're likely to make a bunch of blocks here. Maybe this decisive maneuver can be well, quite decisive. We'll see. It's only dealing plus four damage, which isn't which isn't bad, but uh, what do I what do I want to do here? What what should die? That's gonna die anyway to something. Tanza112, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you stopping by and checking out the stream and appreciate your support. I don't know, is that worth doing? I feel like it's not quite worth doing yet. Ah, but I really want this seer to die. So yeah, maybe it is. Maybe I just do this. Because then it's in range of dying to Avalanche. They don't really need it anymore, though, so maybe that's a mistake. Maybe I'm just supposed to aim for one of these two things in case they, like, frostbite one of my guys. Yeah, this was probably hasty. It looks like it's resolving anyway. I could have also saved one of my guys, too. Like, that's the thing. Yeah, that was probably a mistake. I have plenty of, plenty of other things to do in my hand, but... We're just gonna keep loading up on this Zed. <laughs> Next turn we probably go... Uh, can we, we... We can play Zed and the General, right? Yeah, we can. That's probably what our game plan is. It obviously depends on what they do, but... I could see them doing, like, Infinite Mind Splitter here, and then... Uh... Yep. So now they're gonna play the Mind Splitter. Stun these two, we'll play General Zed, go wide. Hopefully that's enough to win the game. Oh, they're not doing that. Okay. That is a big dragon. My war host Only the lucky ones return. I guess I'm fine just taking eight here. It's another Legion General, that's pretty good. But I'm definitely opening attacks, I don't want, uh... 
Don't want to get hit, risk getting hit with like Ice Quake or something. down to two. Do we just play the general out? Do we want to wait and see what they do? <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. Uh, Recall an ally to summon a living shadow in its place. So... I guess we could just wait to see what they do. Because I kind of want to recall an ally. And then play this. It shouldn't matter, though. All will kneel before Noxus. Noxus always wants something from Ionians. I think I'm actually going to skip here because it means that this is forced to block this, which means this, these two are forced to block. This deck shouldn't have any reach, so... Okay, so we know he has a unit in his hand that's not going to do anything. What a top deck. That was their top deck, too. Our time is over. So, okay. I'm going to get to finish this off in theory, because it's gonna take damage. So I could shadow shift here to replay something. That's another Yasuo. The heavens diminish, 
without my attention. Not attacking with anything else, you bastard. Okay. So, I guess we do she this to start. Ah, it won't work. Well, no, that's not true. I can go this, this. That will pop the spell shield. He'll take four, then two, and die. Hopefully what he hit off of that was bad. block both and then I'm forced to block with Zed the following turns. I think I'm just supposed to pass. My, how they stare. Looks like it's finally going to be over here. the control deck but yeah they had too much too much stuff too many cards and they found some pretty good celestials off of uh off of the Aure aurelian soul too not really sure we could have done anything differently there that would have mattered kind of was hoping that they would attack with the mind splitter at some point so i could stun it the spell shield on that dragon was really bad too oh well it is what it is it's happening a lot today Keep Yasuo for sure. Not sure about Zed. Or Zed's not very good. I think Concussive Palm's decent. Okay then. Game says, nope. You're having a Zed in your opening hand. I don't care what you want. No one drops for you. Pretty sure I want Concussive Palm here. Uh, I guess we'll start with you. Probably Spider next turn. They're gonna play like a Zed, I have to guess. 
I don't think that getting dealt one damage is worth it. I'll just chill. There's a pet, huh? Bask in her radiant blessing. Do not fear the shrouded path. Probably gonna play a Yasuo out this turn no matter what. I don't think we can really afford to recall anything this game. Like, kinda need to get under this Lee Sin. We'll have some stun cards to do that with. And then these will get, like, these are pretty good attackers uh, with that in mind, but it's gonna be difficult. I'm assuming that they're they're debating whether or not they should be playing out their lease in here. Um, Daylight warms the heart. Okay, they have two celestial the cards in hand. They cost between four and six. Interesting. What is gained when we return malevolence? Legion General is not a bad pickup, I suppose. We have like two to three ways to trigger it, if, depending on whether or not we want to use the Shadow Shift. I think, uh, yeah, now we'll see what they do. Deal one and dealing four. I could shadow shift. I could also just let it die and play out another um, thingy. I think it's worth using the shadow shift because I kind of want the steel tempest in hand. Don't look twice. Underestimate. I dare you. Also triggers. It triggers these two, so it's it's good for multiple reasons. The locks. I think we'll save the spell mana. Decisive maneuver. It's interesting. Back heretic. I think this is worth doing for the amount of damage it's going to cause. Who's got the upper hand? Now I kind of wish I wish I had played out that spider. In hindsight is 2020 as they say. Go, floaty crystals. Want to see these moves up close?
Yeah, we kind of dismantled our opponent that game. None escape their shadow. Just like all of our answers lined up perfectly into what they wanted to do. Kind of want to, yeah, sure. Let's dump all of these, look for a one drop. Okay, well, thanks, game. Thanks, deck. Glad to know you got my back. To be fair, six one drops is pretty low to, to guarantee that this gets to, to hit at all the time. But, you know, one can hope. Could run nine, maybe. Not sure what I would cut, but... I think I like everything else in the deck. For now. For now. I am the blade in the darkness. We'll try this. I'm sure it's gonna get killed by an avalanche. It's probably worth one for oneing this with Avalanche. Let's take this outside. It's an interesting play. I guess they don't have any way to deal with this and they don't want it leveling for free. I'm happy doing this. We have so many of these. If it means keeping Zed alive, I think it's worth it. Play this so I have a target for the conspirators. It's another Zed, okay. Cause I'll just pass. Cause like I could bounce. I came to fight. Okay. Huh. How much do I care about leveling up? It does reset his counter, unfortunately, but... I think I want to use my mana and just get more attackers out. I think that's important. Ooh. I think we're just gonna here. There no one else? Let's talk about your tab. It'd almost be worth letting this happen. I think he can kill this with another troll chant though, but or they can trade, I think. Took a lot of damage from that. You'll thank me later. Well, then. Here's where I'd paint my constellation. Stay safe. I'll take 
it from here. Where are we at with the Oslo? Four? Yeah, we should. Only three? Oh, yeah, because that one. Carved from the savage cold. Probably not worth attacking with those, even though we are going wide. Ah, eh, forces them to block. We might lose some stuff. Hold still. I've got meat bigger than you. Yeah, it's unfortunate we don't quite have them dead. So the question is, is it worth trying? Are we dead on the backswing? Yeah, maybe I was supposed to hold those back because of that. supposed to play stuff out. I don't know. You could have Ice Quake. You could have all kinds of things to kill this. That's, that's the reason why I didn't. That's interesting. Want to see these moves up close? Do not disappoint me. Maybe this block is wrong and I'm just supposed to stun, but with this conspirator in hand, I feel like I want to try something else. Uh, but then again, they could just play a sweeper out. Well, they, they're just going to play a sweeper post combat, aren't they? I guess not. They're like they're still just relying on these things being stunned forever. Looking for a dare escape. Time for a leap of faith. Wow, we actually got there. That was quite unexpected.
Okay. Probably go one, two, three. Hope that that's good. Now we might use this. I'm gonna actually block. Do I wanna block that? No, I don't think so. Let's start with this and see what happens. Ooh, that's a nice pickup. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. Um, okay, I guess I won't block then. He could have eaten one of my attackers if he would if he was patient. my gold card there you know what think you fast I think Cute. we're gonna play out both of these don't let the fluffy tails fool you and look to recall maybe Zed actually all or nothing a game go on and watch the ball folks Now who's got the upper hand? A game. Go on and watch the ball, folks. Wait a minute. Brings him down to three, okay. Oh, I guess I could have... Oh, that was silly of me. I could have tried to recall in an attempt to... Um, yeah. In an attempt to... Um, find the lethal there. Yeah, if we lose this, it's probably because I didn't take that recall line. Soak it in. It's probably gonna be because I didn't. Underestimate. 
dare you. Who's this hitting? Her. Now was dead in their tracks. Here's our chance. Oh, it just replaces the target? I didn't realize that. Think you're fast? Cute. I'll show you how it's done. Oh, it's on. Hmm. <sighs> this is awkward. Definitely gonna stun something. <laughs> this is just dying to a red card anyway. I do that, I'm dead to red card, but I could block something else. Yeah, I missed that line with the uh, with the recall. Probably would have won this game. Oops, I also forgot to use my Steel Tempest. Not that it matters. We'll attack, we'll die, we'll cry, and move on to the next game. And it'll probably be the last one, and then I'm gonna switch up, switch up games. All right. Yeah, I screwed up. I missed lethal with that turn with the recall. Most likely would have had it. Because I don't think he had much mana in hand. Like, he didn't have much mana left after making those blocks and playing... I uh, can't even remember what it was. Played Bastion on... The Twisted Fate. He was what? He was two away? And I had... Yeah, and the recall would have... Buffed both of the Fey Blade Twirlers... Fey Blade Twirlers, meaning both would have needed to be answered. Well, sort of. Deck one, I lost. What else is new? For two. They just have nothing to do in their first couple of turns. Daylight breaks on the battlefield. The sun's splendor reveals. Um, if I play Yasuo, I can't Concussive Palm. I think I'd rather Concussive Palm. Answer to me. We can go super wide with Decisive Maneuver. They obviously don't have a way to deal with that. They didn't do anything for the first, like, several turns. Not gonna give him a chance to stun something else with a play. Try to leave a dent. They could spell shield Diana, it pops. This thing will get five attack. It, it will kill her. go Precious Pet into Legion General this turn, I think. Might even make sense to actually bounce the Tail of the Dragon first. Eh, it's big enough as is. I think.
Bye. Yeah, I think that's I think uh, that's good enough. We're gonna end it there. I think I'm gonna take a small break. I'm gonna go offline. Then I'll be back with some wingspan in probably less than 30 minutes. Thanks everyone for hanging out. If you didn't, uh, if you missed any of our matches or you want to see other games uh, now or in the future, go be sure to check out my YouTube channel. I post all the decks that we play um, broken up. You know, I, each video is uh, reserved for every deck, so you can see exactly the kind of matches you want to see. And uh, yeah, we'll see you. We'll see you in a little bit.